Guys, welcome to game one of the round of eight. We have Ash do life at the, I don't know, 10 o'clock position. Six o'clock location, we have Exit. Exit has been around all sorts of places. Say what's up to him if you see him around. So this is, wow, uncharacteristic TVT, uncharacteristic TVT on Power Bond. And TVT Power Bond, I'm kind of curious what we're gonna see all together. Let's go ahead and do map reveal. Because this is a more macro-oriented map where you can get that two base and hold it fairly easily. You do have ramps where siege tech, uh, where just positional siege tanks can play a massive favor. But I know that in TVT lately, just watching Artosis' stream and other things here and there, that factory vulture pushes have become more common for whatever reason. I don't know all of the... I, I wish I had seen more TVT at large. To be able to comment on it, I need to go back and still watch a lot of the ESL games that I've missed as far as like what the current cutting edge meta is. But yeah, it feels like a lot of early aggressive attacks rather than some of the long term, like getting either Wraith as an advantage or going Goliath uh, in mid game and kind of doing that long term delay switch and then kind of that tentative, like, okay, you got positional strips, you kind of split that map in half or at least box your opponent in. You've established additional bases, denied bases to them with potential vulture run buys. I like this from exit going ahead and checking the corners to make sure that this is kind of a cool thing I didn't notice in the background. You got these uh, cool kind of flaring yellow or white. Look at that. That's kind of a cool little map dude ad. I actually like this map quite a bit. Looks nice. By the way, I don't, for at least people on Twitch chat, by the time this goes live, I don't know if it'll be active or not. Be sure to vote in the New World map contest. I feel like that's been amazing content for the foreigner community. It's just been fantastic overall. I've really appreciated. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, all of the organizers, but basically Team Think Quick and Ox and everybody for getting me involved in that. Call of Scan games were really fun to watch on Turbine. Turbine was not a finalist. I think Goodnight and Tundra are my votes for what might be the final, but go ahead and vote for that in the Team Liquid forums. But let me go ahead and get to the game in the meantime. Both players popping down a factory before their barracks is finished. Basically mirror builds as far as I can tell at this stage. Direct mirror builds. An SCV kind of couched in the corner. Maybe this shows that do life is less familiar with this map. Maybe this is to do something interesting and cheesy. I'm not sure if he's aware that his SCV is being a lazy dork hiding there. Okay, now it's starting to move again. Looks like exit. He's going to be able to get an earlier scout. As a result, first marine being produced. Kind of an odd. I wonder why this is the case. Maybe to get that barracks lifted. I think this is to. I think they're placing it at this kind of odd corner in order to get that barracks lifted sooner rather than later to get spotting in their opponent's base. However, this marine going to be able to not able to uh, box out that SCV is going to be able to go ahead and see that gas line, single marine, or single SCV on gas right there. Also seeing that factory in production after just one marine. First marine produced right there. Nice kill initially. Factory being produced opposite side. And it looks like the, a little bit of an advantage for do life early. It's going to be able to back out. So both players, and actually, let's check opposite corner. No second factory. So I think both players are going to go for mirror builds here. Just going to go straight for factory. There is a second marine being added for both players. Actually, third marine here for exit. So two marines and a liftoff from do life versus three marines on the ground for exit. That's about it as far as the difference goes. But both players setting up to go ahead and potentially grab that natural expansion. Do life, interestingly enough, going to go ahead and couch this SCV in the upper right-hand corner for reasons unknown. Is he going to go for... A hidden expansion? I don't think so. So he's moving out to the... Okay, he's got that command center going down. I'm surprised he's not bringing this back to home base. So Marines moving out aggressively with this barracks floating overhead. There's already a vulture out for do life. This feels like a bit of a mistake from exit, in my opinion. Especially given all the information he's seen. He's going to go ahead and put his command center down. But with this vulture out on the field, he's basically donating Marines to the cause. Looks like that barracks is going to go ahead and see that marine out in the front door. But these two vultures, okay, now he's starting to turn around. Do life not perhaps realizing that all these marines are out there? Because he could get aggressive with these vultures and just go ahead and wipe out a lot of this attack force. A vulture there from exit. He's getting very aggressive. Wants to go ahead and press into this. It's going to come down to micro versus micro. Third vulture engaging right here. Some nice micro there by do life picking off the marines very rapidly. So, and now that's going to allow Do Life, with that entire army wiped out, that's going to allow Do Life to get a degree of map control and just start pushing out, honestly, towards Exit's front. Exit just with a single vulture there currently. Marines working on that barracks. Looks like they're getting a bit uh, distracted right there from the cause. So it's going to be vulture versus vulture on the front door. Again, this is what we've just seen a lot of 
uh, lately. They're backing off. The machine shop is down. A little bit of repair. Do life just kind of pecking out that front door, kind of seeing what's up before backing off. In the meantime, inside these bases, two additional factories being plopped down by Exit. His natural expansion is online. It looks like Dulife wasn't quite able to capitalize, get anything accomplished there. His barracks is still kind of floating here out in the middle of the map. That barracks might be taken out sooner rather than later. Third barracks and a machine shop being tapped down from him. He's also got that armory potentially to get Goliath a little bit earlier than later. This is actually, if a more experienced player can let me know why this has moved away from kind of earlier siege tanks openers. Maybe because siege tanks are just so stationary. These are much larger maps and vultures can sneak by. That's the logical thing I'm kind of playing with it. And it's kind of funny as things have moved more towards vultures. Early Goliaths have kind of played two factors. One against uh, kind of the spotting units uh, to support those siege tanks in the future. But also they work pretty well against vultures and mines. We are seeing vulture speed being upgraded by exit. He's got, yeah, just a handful of vultures here in the mid game. This does seem like it is the current TVT meta. Vultures versus vultures. This barracks is going to get wiped out, which is going to be a small win for do life. The vulture is starting to press forward and being repaired. Exit with that speed might have an opportunity to do a potential run by and at least peel away maybe a couple SCVs if he got really aggressive with it. That's certainly going to give him some map control. This barracks kind of floating around trying to keep an eye on where those vultures are at and whether they have that speed upgrade or not. As a follow-up, we are seeing mines being upgraded for do life with that siege shank. So right now, both players, neither player are getting a huge advantage. I feel like Exit has a degree of map control just because of the speed with these vultures where they can kind of do... And this is kind of the thing with these vultures in the mid-game is, is oftentimes... Yeah, they just you kind of couch them to the corner and do a speed run by and do economic damage and kind of pin your opponent in. And so that kind of becomes the contest in Terran versus Terran is, is having enough attack forces where you can stop these vulture run bys from just sneaking by and doing a big backstabby attack from your second going from your second base to your third. Machine shop whirling, getting that siege check upgrade, getting the mine upgrade. Three factories still on this corner waiting for that additional barracks to be built before any additional techs uh, being plopped online. And I'm almost wondering if this is eventually going to start turning into things we see from Protoss players with supply depots, creating blockades, um, Goliaths and whatnot, kind of protecting the front door to deal with these Vulture run buys. At least I haven't seen that at this level and I haven't seen that uh, in other places where they're kind of using infrastructure on the front door. Maybe just because Siege tanks, Goliaths, other units, Terran units tend to be really dumb and hard to manage as it is when you're not creating an intentional blockade for yourself. But I don't know, maybe someone can make it work. Siege tanks moving out for exit. Currently with the Vultures and that tentative control from Dulife, do life moving forward, but yeah, he definitely wants to make sure that Exit doesn't just start setting up with those siege tanks near his natural expansion. He is filtering some units and is engaging there. The Vulture's engaging from the north on those Goliaths. Siege tanks now engaging as they're coming across the low end on the bridge. The Vulture's very quickly cleared out, as well as those Goliaths. And even Supply, but I feel like the win there went to Exit just because there were superior numbers of Goliaths, at least initially. Let's see if these Goliaths can... Yeah, trying to just walk through and clear these mines. Uh, otherwise. But able to at least to establish on this forward front, do, Exit was able to basically prevent do life from doing a full end around. Some siege tanks now engaging to this bottom right-hand corner. The, both players, I don't know that they realize where each other's army are. Do life leaving his front door very exposed as far as kind of a, a counterattack goes. Still camping near that third, wants to try to deny that third. And again, this is... TVT wants to be able to go ahead and deny that third, get his own third up, is trying to do so via aggression. Again, both players just about even, walking to those mines, able to clear them, but going to also walk into these siege tanks before their siege, like, what? Going to go ahead and back out of it. Vultures moving forward, they're just going to donate their lives to the combination of this attack force, was maybe hoping to pick off a tank right there. And some vultures able to sneak through with speed and get some mines planted, potentially on top of these siege tanks. Good mine burst. Weakening those two, two siege tanks. So, do life being more aggressive. Doing some damage here, but this is allowing Exit to go ahead and walk forward. He's going to go ahead and try to establish his third in a more aggressive forward posture. And if he, uh, having these siege tanks here, covering these bridges, and also having scout over, uh, more or less some vision over those bridges is a big advantage. Supply count in Exit's favor. He's got, what is this? So, four, six factories running in the background. Two additional factories just now going down for Do Life. Do Life is well out of range. He's got all of these units kind of out of position back here, kind of threatening a backstab that I just do not think is going to happen with all the siege tanks, uh, mines, etc. I think he was trying to loft that barracks advantage 
to go ahead and spot that inside third. But what this is allowing Exit to do is more or less push, establish his third base while he's starting to threaten Exit and cut off additional bases from him. Here we see Dulife kind of meandering to the north. He's already got that command center built. He's going to try to take this expansion. This expansion is just being built wholesale. But essentially, Exit's advantage here is not only can he take a base, he can take a base while pressing into Do Life's natural expansion and doing a lot of damage here. And will Do Life be able to evict this? What a huge, bold move from Exit. Tanks on Siege walking back into this and getting wiped out. But a gigantic mine! Huge mine! For Do Life, able to wipe those Siege tanks out. Still some Vultures able to get into that natural expansion. Unfortunately, and they are going to be able to pop that Siege tank. I was going to say, unfortunately, working on that Siege tank, rather getting the damage done. Hero SCVs able to clear that up and prevent that. And so for a second there, I was thinking Exit might have been overcommitting. It looked like for a moment he might be able to establish some, some control over that natural expansion. But all of a sudden, a huge turnaround where Exit is trying to take an undefended third. Do Life suddenly has positional control. Where he can start pressing in and denying additional bases. He still has this army that could potentially backstab if Exit overcommits. But now Vulture is now flooding into this third. Going to be able to get a handful of SCV kills. Nice turn of events. But this base is mining much more rapidly. Plus, as far as the background infrastructure, we've got the six factories up. Versus just the five comparatively. For Do Life. And Do Life just now. Well, I think this is just now. Getting some saturation right there as well. Do life pressing into exit space. He's like, okay, you're going to take this forward expansion. I'm going to make sure you pay for it if you can't hold it. And this is where having those units to that back right hand corner can be an advantage because if he overcommits the units right here, there is a potential for a backstab behind this. Do life with a nice position here on the bridge. Let's see if he, I don't know, moves a, gets a, this is where Wraith or anything up in the air, Comsat, something can help against this. And you can just feel like, as far as like map control, I'm going to move some vision here. Do Life it kind of is just forcing this lane kind of pincer through. The Vultures are trying to end around, prevent kind of Vulture versus Vulture action to try to defend this base on that corner where comparatively, oops, I'm sorry, I'm messing around with vision right now. You can just see there's kind of a lane that Exit has to follow to kind of get up here. I'm not sure that he has a good target. So basically he's threatened here. He's threatened, he knows, by something amorphous up here. So he's got kind of this lane to kind of push through uh, to engage that base. And I believe Dulife is aware of all of that. So he can continue to apply pressure towards the third while he goes ahead and establishes this base. And as long as he keeps these vultures from just rushing in and going ahead and taking uh, anything out to this inside 9 o'clock location, I think Dulife might be able to press press ahead just because of positional adva advantages. This is where my lack of TVT, I'd love to hear comments on this. This is where my lack of TVT experience I can, can come into play. However, Exit overall has a superior supply count right this moment. I like that. Siege tank moving into position to go ahead and denying that critical third gas. Killing a couple of SCVs on the corner. A missile turret going up. So this is going to force Exit to do something to try to evict these siege tanks, which means walking into and he's going to... Ooh, Tanks on sieging. Is Dulife going to go for it? Vulture's moving forward. Might be able to get some mines planted. Catching Exit while well, he was out of position. He's going to be able to go ahead and dive in on that third. Mines are planted. Some more siege tanks. Vulture's coming from the north. And Dulife did not have enough to really commit to this. So it looks like that's going to get wiped out. And once again, Exit might be able to swing this back around. So if he just abandons this and go ahead, goes ahead and goes for a contain again at this natural expansion, Dulife might be in some trouble. Tanks trying to group up and siege. I actually love Power Bond for TVT, I'm realizing. Goliath moving forward. Going to clear some mines. Let's see if these Vultures are able to press forward and do some scouting and, and clear that siege tank out. Still some additional siege tanks to the north, but do life in a potential precarious situation here. More Vultures being wiped out there, but this is a big bulk of siege tanks. In position just out, and you can just see the vice starting to close. For do life, more reinforcements moving across. That's going to allow him to go ahead and get that third base. Ooh, a mine accidentally popping and taking out a handful of units. Significant supply lead for exit. He's just doing a great job macroing, and that is what is giving him advantage in this map. Do life actually sneak, thinking about sneaking an expansion to the three clock back corner, but he needs to worry about just getting boxed in. Tanks on sieging, just walking in with the vultures. Now sieging into do life's natural expansion might be able to box him in. Some SEVs pulling off the line to try to defend this. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. SCVs are there. There's still some unseized tanks. Tanks attacking themselves here with the splash damage. Some additional tanks unseized 
at the natural expansion and they just not even getting shots off before they're rapidly taking off being taken out a science vessel moving forward to provide some spotting but there's nothing underneath to to prevent the rest of this so now do life is boxed into his natural expansion exit continuing to death grip this once he's taking that back corner tanks on siege just walking into this natural expansion now resieging might even get position on this ramp vultures pressing forward night this might be it another mine taken out beautiful play there from exit an overcommit and an attack on that third base turning into now a contained situation no scvs at the natural expansion just getting completely obliterated right here that command center might get wiped out at least there's an additional mining base and that gas is still up currently but things are not looking good for do life at all science vessel moving forward trying to oof, that was unfortunate good comp set as that was happening he was wanting to get position on that high ground still there's no overhead spotting here from exit just yet that's two science vessels maybe you can get something accomplished out of that vultures able to sneak through not able to get some mines down some counter vultures now moving in able to clear the mines comparatively that natural expansion is done and vultures starting to sneak into the main this is danger town it was bad before and now it is looking worse and mines are getting planted tanks able to deal with them before they're able to to wipe out but ooh, nice hero scv a wraith actually out and a wraith it might just be exactly what exit needed to go ahead and wipe these siege tanks out there is an additional base being capped here from exit no goliaths on the front just yet this base is mostly exposed only two siege tanks there to defend it doesn't look like exit is cognizant of it though some more vultures starting to move out where is the goliath a drop ship overall for exit that can provide both scouting unfortunately it does not allow you to repair tanks or keep them alive from this is a hero wraith this is where wraith really really shines gonna force an unsiege here and uh, peel back from exit so buying some time some vultures getting taken out equivalently on the front so do life buying himself a reprieve momentarily with this wraith i don't know if that's gonna buy him an overall victory he's still well behind in supply count he hasn't been mining for quite a bit of time and also vultures now are starting to press into these siege tanks to the north now wraith yeah starting to take out that dropship still no okay there's finally a goliath it was like okay where are the rest of the attack forces there's still this attack force that's been sitting back here this entire time from do life the wraith providing both scouting information and pecking away at everything else in the interim but while this is all happening we've got another base established this base mining the main is looking a bit thin but the natural expansion is up so basically we got five bases up one two three four sorry four bases up soon to be three but basically just to the two comparatively a nice defense matrix kind of walk forward from do life to go ahead and try to press this out wraith on wraith action overhead but i be i believe that do life is going to be able to evict these siege tanks out from his natural expansion but it's going to be too little too late some scvs distance i don't know what they were doing up there distance mining going to be able to clear things out so do life do life is going to be able to slow walk clear things out be able to regrab his natural expansion but the damage has already been done he's already at half supply yeah, not even sieging here I'm gonna go ahead and clear these siege tanks out uh, from the front but even with this there's this attack force that was kind of a thorn in exit side is gonna get wiped out so there's no counterattack possibility so maps completely open for exit siege tanks are gonna just try to dive in to take out this third base once again this is a very risky play from do life but I think that's yeah what needs to happen he needs to make his aggression taking out bases comparatively big upgrade advantage for do life so that's something now a wraith overhead there vultures swinging in from the right kind of a difficult position to engage from some an sev battling it out as well and do life actually with the concentration of forces with exit being absolutely everywhere might be able to press into this 30 still way behind in supply does have the upgrade advantage we'll see if enough vultures can group up to go ahead and push these siege tanks back this base still not mining keep in mind so this is technically and it looks like another base being grabbed exit being very economically aggressive just grabbing absolutely everything now the vultures starting to flood in there is a defense matrix right there another siege tank from the north so it looks like exit is going to defend this without taking too much damage did end up losing his vesping gas right there and it looks like he pulled off uh, some marines i'm not sure if the, the marines i'm not sure if these scvs died or were wiped out here at this inside six o'clock base still do life is not established here's the thing though do life doing all these shenanigans he still hasn't taken out a base he still hasn't established additional base for himself he's distance mining at his main so economically he's going to end up way 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 behind 
All Exit has to do is keep up with his macro, keep this attack force moving forward. SCV is now flooding in to this mineral only once again, moving in uh, to Siege Tanks. And Dulife just desperately trying to stop this base from mining. I don't think he realizes just the fact that Exit has established a whole lot of additional bases. More SCVs flooding in right there. The one thing that's keeping do life in this match up to this stage is just the raw upgrade advantage. Level 3 weapons, level 2 armor versus level 1, level 1. But do life realizing he just has no economy. He does not have the attack forces. Exit taking it. That was an exciting one. I liked it. Usually TVT can be a little bit, little bit laborious, to be honest, in commentating. But it feels like the new meta just keeps it exciting. And on Powerbond, that was a fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.